Okay, today we're going over the GB784 insulation tool using the GB784 740 adapter and also the 5C-640A-50 nose assembly. First thing we need to do is supply air to the tool. After air is to the tool, we take off the original nut with the spring. Take the first part of the adapter, thread that onto your piston and snug it down. Next we take the sleeve of the adapter and thread that onto the GB784 head assembly. Once that on, take the nose assembly and start threading it onto the adapter. So you see there are holes on the nose assembly and there are holes on the adapter. These holes eventually need to line up so that we can thread down the screw to hold the nose assembly onto the adapter. You will eventually feel the nose assembly, uh, it'll feel snug on the adapter. Once it's snug, uh, you can turn it to the position that uh, you desire. But now we need to back off the adapter sleeve until these holes marry. You can also push in the nose assembly uh, to help with the lining up of these holes. Once the holes are lined up, you thread in your screw to hold the nose assembly down on the adapter. We will next uh, show you how to adjust the 784 stroke uh, when using this adapter and offset nose assembly. Next we're going to show you how to remove the limit pin um, and then adjust uh, the, the stroke. Uh, the shift point setting on the tool must be adjusted to compensate for the long stroke when using adapters and the C-640A-50 offset nose assembly. When we adjust this, this will increase the length of your tool stroke. So first thing we need to remove the limit pin, which is using a hex key we will unthread the limit pin until the cap can be removed off of the back of the head assembly now what this does, this allows us to uh, rotate our uh, shift setting position and the adjuster knob so we need to turn adjusting knob counterclockwise until it stops. Okay. Now that it's uh, stopped, this is lengthen the stroke of the 784 and it will now install cherry lock rivets up to half inch grip length before using a straight 681 series pulling head again the tool must be readjusted using the stroke setting gauge 784159 so before using straight nose assemblies you need to refer to your GB784 tool manual to readjust your tool for installing uh, double action rivets with the straight nose assemblies The shift slide part number 60403 has a set screw which is factory set between 3 16 and 7 30 seconds, as shown in the diagram. If set screw becomes out of specification, we recommend removing shift slide part number 60403 from the nose assembly and resetting the set screw between 3 16 and 7 30 seconds, and then reassembling the nose. Now that you have your GB784 adjusted properly and your nose assembly has been adapted to the 784-740 adapter, we're going to show you how to install the rivet properly. Uh, these nose assemblies are factory adjusted to properly install rivets in the A group shorter links. If nose assembly has been disassembled for repair, or adjusted, it will be necessary to readjust the nose. 
Gauges can be purchased and are identified by their color. Eighth inch number is 628-4, and the color is green. 530 seconds, number 628-5 is red, which we will be showing you in this video. 3 sixteenths number 628-6 is blue, and quarter inch number 628-8 is plain. Alright, so we want to uh, use the setting gauge to make sure that our inner anvil and our nose assembly is properly adjusted. Um, first look at your inner anvil, you have a locking screw. If you need to adjust it, you need to turn it out. If you need to lock it in, you need to turn it in. So using uh, your setting gauge, insert short end of setting gauge into the outer anvil until inner face of gauge collar rests against end of inner anvil and anvil rests on crossbar end sleeve. The outer face of the collar should be approximately ten thousandths above the face of the inner anvil for countersunk nose assemblies. So right now we are using a countersunk nose assembly and installing a protruding head fastener. So we want to follow the countersunk nose assembly instructions which says that the gauge should rest on the outside of the inner anvil. And as you see right now, the gauge is actually resting on the inside. So if your nose assembly is, is not adjusted correctly using this gauge, you're going to get a bad installation, which we're going to show you right now. So as you see, the, both the stem and the ring appear to be higher than the face of the rivet, much higher. So we need to adjust the inner anvil in order to properly install the rivet within specification. Right now we are threading the anvil in clockwise so that eventually our gauge will stick out around ten thousandths outside of the inner anvil. Right now it looked to be around flush so we may want to thread it in one more turn, maybe a half a turn. And lock it down. We'll check that gauge one more time. As you see, it slightly sticks out the front of your nose tip there. And now we're going to install another rivet and see if it breaks within specification. Right. And let's take a look at these two. And as you see, after adjusting the inner anvil, we were able to break the ring and the pintail flush with the head of the fastener. One thing we wanted to mention, we are using a countersunk offset nose assembly with a protruding head or universal rivet. This is okay to do. Um, however, if you have cosmetic issues with the head of the fastener, we suggest that you use our U-style nose assembly for universal rivets and C-style nose assemblies for countersunk. So minor adjustments may need to be made to pull your rivet, your specific rivet, within specification. If nose assembly has been adjusted uh, using the, the nose tip or internal components, then we suggest that you reassemble the nose assembly and set it to specification as shown in other videos and this one. Thank you.